A West LA neighborhood is in disbelief tonight as people learn a missing Arizona teen was found here inside the home of a registered sex offender. The specialist Andrew Adams has been talking to neighbors and pouring through court documents to get to the bottom of the story. Andrew? Well, then you keep in mind, this guy was on probation. Investigators say he left the state without permission, went to Arizona, picked up this 14-year-old girl, helped her remove her ankle monitor, and then brought her back to his place. The, went to his, the, the address we found for him on the Utah Sex Offender Registry website, and the people there are just beside themselves. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. They just couldn't believe it. Because I am not having that. Not here, not now, not ever. Neighbors say they'd never seen 26-year-old Jordan Daniel Sorensen, but learning about why he was now in custody was alarming. If I see him, he, uh-uh. Devastating that that can be right there in your neighborhood and you got no idea what's going on in someone else's house. According to documents, Sorensen traveled to Arizona to pick up a 14-year-old he'd apparently met on TikTok and then stayed in contact through Snapchat. Investigators said on January 27th, Sorensen helped the girl cut off her ankle monitor and bought her clothing and electronics before bringing her back to his home in West Valley. Detectives said they found her in his basement. It's a blessing that they find her and she's safe and, and she gets to go home with her parents. Documents state that Sorensen is now under investigation for kidnapping, rape, and enticing a minor. In 2020, he was convicted of sexual extortion after getting a 13-year-old to send him explicit pictures and then threatening to post them if she didn't send him more. I hope she's okay and I'll pray for her because we all have children. We all do want to be safe. Neighbors say they have a range of emotions about what allegedly happened so close to their own homes. I'm a grandma, I'm old, but I would just give them an old-fashioned whooping. They say they hope for justice in the case. Oh, it's just not acceptable. Well, it's told that the girl has been turned over to a victim's advocate with the Utah Attorney General's office. In addition to the probation violations, detectives and prosecutors will be going over what other charges potentially apply here. Thank right you.